So I, I think we could be taking a wrong approach when it comes to old celluloid or traditional film versus digital IMAX when it comes to like movie stuff, when it comes to um, short films. Even you as maybe an independent filmmaker just out shooting music videos or shooting weddings or just whatever it is you're shooting. I think we could be taking a different approach when it comes to film versus digital. First of all, I think one of the major issues is that we put the verses in between it to begin with, right? I don't think that it's a versus battle at all. Like I feel that each has its own space to, to thrive in 2002 plus. I think that, um, you know, film has its space still. And we could kind of talk about that and prove that to ourselves just by looking at technology as a whole. If we look at technology as a whole, like this cell phone that I'm talking to you guys on, I'm talking to you guys right now on the iPhone 12. How many people do you know running around with the first iPhone or like a Motorola StarTac? or like the old Nokia phone with the old, you know, you download your ringtones into it and stuff like that. So cell phones, you know, old vintage cell phones, I guess you, that's what you'd call it now, right? A, a StarTac that's considered vintage, it's over 20 years old. I, I don't see anyone running around with a, with a Motorola StarTac, you feel me? I don't see anyone run, running around with a corded phone in their house. I don't see anyone with a 486 IBM in their house. That technology has come and gone. I don't see anyone listening to CDs. I don't see anyone popping in VCRs into a VCR player at their house to watch movies. Cars don't come with cassette players anymore. <laughs> Eight tracks, gone. The list could literally go on and on when it comes to technology, when it comes to digital technology, how they come and then they go. Right. And then it doesn't matter how big the niche cult following is for any said specific medium. I don't care how big the VCR niche cult following is for VCRs. The format is dead. Records are pretty much dead. There are still a pretty good following of people that still listen to vinyl. And, and it's more of a collector's thing. But you don't see brand new artists coming out with an actual vinyl record. They're, it's more of a collectible piece. I'm talking about its usefulness in its digital mainstream space. And so the way that I kind of approached it to myself was, well, I was like, well, if film is dead, which is what all the digital people are saying, right? Film is dead. You old, you old farts need to just let film go and just let it die, right? First of all, that never really sat well with me because if it was going to die, it's going to die. Right? You can't stop old technology from dying. I don't care how many old people are standing up with pickets in front of Paramount IMAX Studios saying, film, 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 it doesn't matter. When it's dead, it's dead. But the fact is, it's not. Because if I was just to, like, just for me personally, if I was to go back and just, let's say just over broad stroke the past five to seven years or so, and just think about all the movies that kind of really stuck home were like some of my favorite movies from like, from like the past seven or eight years or whatever. And I did this, you know, I literally sat down and I thought about what movies really stuck out to me on an emotional level. And so I wrote down the list and I came up with like, you know, American Gangster, um, The Irishman. That was a t that was a beautifully shot movie. You know, the, the script was awesome. The, the way it looked was awesome. Everything about that movie was awesome. Now, keep in mind, I did not look up whether these movies were shot on film, on digital. I don't, I'm, I'm going strictly off of how did it make me feel and did I enjoy the movie? That's it. Queen's Gambit. I thought Queen's Gambit was a great looking movie. I thought the story was great, etc. The Force Awakens, obviously, you know, I'm like a Star Wars little, little buff or whatever, little, little Star Wars nerd. I thought The Force Awakens was great. And so, you know, long story short, I went back and looked up, was this movie shot on film or on digital? Coincidentally enough for me, most, <laughs> most of these movies that I just mentioned were actually shot on 35 millimeter film. Hateful Eight, I thought that was an awesome movie shot on film. I used to watch Walking Dead all the time back in 2010, 2011, shot on film. You know, we talked about American, American Gangster, shot on film. The Irishman, shot on film. Wonder Woman, shot on, like, this is crazy. Like, when I went back and actually looked at what movies that I enjoyed were shot on film, it, it kind of struck home. Am I saying film should reclaim the throne in Hollywood? That's not, 
It's not what I'm, I just told you Queen's Gambit was one of my favorite movies shot on, on Red 8K Monstro. So really, the I mean, the only thing I'm saying at this point is there are different tools to accomplish different vibes, different emotions. Can you get the look of film from digital? Yes. To, to, to a certain varying degree, yes, you can get about 90 to 95% of the way film looks in the digital format. I don't think it can be identically replicated at all. However, I do feel that the presence of mine on these sets that are shot in 35, 65, 70 on regular celluloid films, I do feel that the makeup artists, the uh, DP, the directors, the talents, the extras, and the crew, I do feel that everyone is definitely in a different mindset. They're in a different space because it takes a different type of shooting. It takes a different type of production in order to shoot a film as opposed to digital, right? Sometimes digital, you can just see them, they're just rolling all this BTS and the camera's just literally rolling, right? You have like an unlimited supply of film. When shooting traditional film, that's, that's not the case, right? Every second that goes by is a dollar spent. And so to me, in the end, you probably get a better product when it comes to shooting on film, just because of the amount of presence, the amount of focus, the amount of overall attentiveness of everyone on set, on location, I feel is a lot different. Hey kids, how you boys doing? Hey, keep chilling. But I do think that it's very interesting that a lot of my favorite movies just happen to be shot on film. Most definitely not a dying format. Give me your thoughts. Give me your responses down in the comments below, and I'll check you guys out in one of my next videos. Peace. You do remember your business partner, don't you? Now, let me take a wild guess here. You're Brett, right? Yeah. I thought so. You remember your business partner, Marcellus Wallace, don't you, Brett? Yeah, I, I remember. Good. Looks like me and Vincent caught you boys at breakfast. Sorry about that. What you having? Hamburgers. Hamburgers! The cornerstone of any nutritious breakfast. What kind of hamburgers? Ch cheeseburgers. No, 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 no. Where'd you get them? McDonald's, Wendy's, Jack in the Box, where? Big Kahuna Burger. Big Kahuna Burger. That's that Hawaiian burger joint. I hear they got some tasty burgers. I ain't never had one myself. How are they? They're good. You mind if I try one of yours? This is yours here, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. This is a tasty burger. Vincent. You ever had a big kahuna burger? Want a bite? They're real tasty. Ain't hungry. Well, if you like burgers, give them a try sometime. Me? I can't usually get them because my girlfriend's a vegetarian, which pretty much makes me a vegetarian. But I do love the taste of a good burger. Mmm. You know what they call a quarter pound of a cheese in France? No. Tell them, Vincent. Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. You know why they call it that? Uh, because of the metric system? Check out the big brain on Brad. You're a smart motherfucker, that's right. The metric system. Send this. Sprite. Sprite, good. You mind if I have some of your tasty beverage to wash this down? Go right ahead. Seagull. You know why we're here? Why don't you tell my man Vince here where you got the shit here at? It's over there. It's I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. You were saying? It's in the cupboard. No, no the one by your knees.
We have him. Vincent. We have him. Yeah, we have him. Look. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I didn't get your name. I got yours, uh, Vincent. Right, but but I, I never got you. My name's Pitt, and your ass ain't talking your way out of this shit. No, no, no. I just want you to know how. I just want you to know how sorry we are that that things got so fucked up with us and and Mr. Wallace. When we we got into this thing with the best intentions, really. I never. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? I didn't mean to do that. Please. Continue. You were saying something about best intentions? What's the matter? Oh, you were finished? Oh, well, allow me to retort. What does Marcellus Wallace look like? What? What country are you from? What? what? What ain't no country I ever heard of? They speak English and what? What? English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? Yes. Then you know what I'm saying. Yes. Describe what Marcellus Wallace looks like. What? Say what again. Say what again. I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more goddamn time. He's, he's black. Go on. He's bald. Does he look like a bitch? What? Does he look like a a bitch! No! Then why you try to fuck him like a bitch, Brett? I didn't. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, Brett. You tried to fuck him. And Marcellus Wallace don't like to be fucked by anybody except Mrs. Wallace. You read the Bible, Brett? Yes. Well, there's this passage I got memorized. So it fits this occasion. Ezekiel 25, 17. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, for he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger, those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. Yeah!